Hello, everybody. Welcome in. We are so excited to have you here today to listen to this awesome presentation. I am just going to give everybody a few minutes to get situated, grab a cup of coffee, water, whatever you're feeling this morning, and we will call you on back in about three minutes. So um, take a moment, get situated while we welcome people in and uh, let everybody find their way. If you just started coming in, welcome in. We're just gonna give everybody about one more minute to file in and get situated. Um, and then we will be ready to present. Okay, we should be all ready to go. Thank you so much again for joining us this morning. Um, today we have Joe from Product Management here at Attack IQ, um, ready to present to you. So Joe, I'll turn it over to you. All right, thank you so much. Hey everybody, um, I'm going to present. To, I'm going to present to you today our uh, our ability to import uh, data from the MITRE Top Ten Techniques Calculator. Um, it's very similar to what we did originally. Um, there was the MITRE ATT&CK Navigator, which was their first foray into, um, you know, kind of giving everybody a view of, you know, their view of, of you know, top techniques and they map them back to threat actors. So I'm going to start with a quick review of that. So if we look at something like MITRE ATT&CK Navigator and we'll look at Enterprise, what they did here um, they're making the selection criteria for TTPs based on some external factor, right? And if we look at the controls here, um, they're very largely, uh, they're talking about external factors. So we think about things like pick your favorite threat actor, right? Threat group, the techniques they use. So the selection criteria for TTPs here is an external factor. Like I said, TTPs employed by APT29 or some threat group or uh, something of that nature. It's all very externally focused. What they've done here with the top attack techniques calculator is they've kind of changed uh, changed the way we change the selection criteria. Um, they're talking about the security maturity of the person opting in. So rather than um, it being an external factor that's choosing the TTPs for you, such as threat group, the the idea here is for the you know the user to come in and make some uh, assumptions about the security level of maturity in their environment. So we're saying network monitoring components, it's uh, none, low, medium, high. So the, the user is going to input something about themselves, right? Uh, so we can go in here and we can pick, take our, you know, th this is gonna be completely uh, something that's configured by the, the end user as their selection criteria. And we're gonna click on generate results. It's actually quick and easy. There's also, several other filters here that the user can use based on whatever it is they're interested, right? They're, this is something completely opt-in by the user. Um, and this is just information that they're gonna be putting in 
about themselves. Again, the, the contrast I'm trying to make is that Attack Navigator, which we also integrate with, and we can also ingest data from to create assessments in the Attack IQ platform, externally focused. You're picking TTPs based on an external factor such as threat actor. Um, here, the TTPs are going to be uh, are going to be picked for you based on input or something you input about yourself. Um, and they put quite a bit of work into it. Um, I know this is an Attack IQ demo, but obviously we work quite closely with with MITRE. Um, if folks are interested in their methodology, there's there's quite a bit here. Um, for for folks of us who are more math inclined, you can see there's um, quite a bit of statistical uh, regression in here. If you're super duper interested in you know how they make the determination, they also offer you the ability to download a spreadsheet, and they're giving away um, all of their methodology here. Uh, you can see all of the data that goes into determining how uh, you know into how they determine what your top 10 attack techniques are. So um, all of this is available on the MITRE site, and all of this is data that we are able to luckily pull from so that we can create the integration. So that being said, let me go ahead and start the show. We'll go back to our calculator. Again, I'll just put in randomly. Yeah, we can we can leave it at none. It, the user is going to select low, medium, high. It doesn't necessarily matter. All we have to do is very simple. You click on generate results, and it's going to push out for you their recommended top techniques. Now, what we can do is we can actually download this. There's a JSON that so you download all top 10. It's going to spit out a JSON file if we go ahead and click on it. And hopefully you guys can see down here, it's, it's given me a JSON file, topattacktechniques.json. In order to use this, it's actually really simple. Log into the Attack IQ platform, go to the assessment templates section, and there's this little upload button on the bottom on the right hand side, it says import template. I click here, upload template or MITRE JSON, that's what we're looking for. Again, we integrate with both the Attack Navigator as well as the top techniques. Click on the import button. Here's top attack techniques, I can go ahead and click on that gives me the information, import template. Oh, sorry, I skipped over a critical step there. As I tell my son, that's why pencils have erasers. There was something I wanted to show you guys, so hold on. Okay, so let's see here. There's one that I made previously. Okay, sorry about that. Skipped over a critical step that I wanted to show you. Up here at the top, we have this option here, select the OS variants that apply to this import. And that's actually very important. We wanna understand what it is that we're going to be testing, right? So we don't necessarily want to create a template of scenarios with a mix of Windows, Linux, Mac. Um, that gets very messy because we don't wanna uh, artificially create errors by running, let's say, a Windows scenario on a Mac asset. So when we do the template import, apologies for skipping over this the first time. I did it again, didn't I? It was already selected. I'm gonna remove these. I hope it doesn't give me an error. No, it didn't. Okay, cool. So it, it gave me a name here, right? It created this, uh, this template here. You see we have 10 tests with 141 scenarios from there. We could go ahead and click, create an assessment. And I'm gonna say yes. All right, now I can rename this however I like. I can say something like top attack, tech, attack techniques, windows, and my selection was uh, low maturity or whatever I want to call it, medium maturity. This is completely up to the user. Go ahead and click update. And that's really it. Um, the assessment is now created and we can run it, right? So um, because I selected Windows here and the, the operating system um, that you select is obviously going to determine what type of asset you want to run tests on. But um, if you remember, I clicked Windows. This should be a template of Windows scenarios. I'm going to go ahead and select an asset. Because it's Windows, I should select a Windows asset. 
right? So let's see, I'll make sure I select a Windows asset. Here's one, cool. You see this one has CrowdStrike on it, some tags, it's an internal tenancy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And that's all you need to do. I am ready to start testing now. If I hit continue here, I'm ready to run and I can start testing um, and, and making the top techniques that came out of the calculator actionable inside of my environment. Um, that's really the whole demo. Um, I'll pause for questions. It's, uh, I know it's pretty quick and easy, but um, the idea behind it was exactly that, right? We're gonna make that, uh, we'll make the MITRE top attack techniques calculator and the output and the selection of the, uh, selection of the, the, the techniques actionable by using the scenario mappings and uh, pulling that into an assessment and then running that assessment to create results in your environment. It's very quick and easy um, and it's meant to be. Awesome, so. thank you so much, Joe. Um, it doesn't look like we have any questions currently, but uh, thank you so much, everybody. You can always reach out to us here at Attack IQ if you have any follow-up questions. And thank you so much, Joe, for your amazing presentation. Um, yes, please uh, continue to come to our demos and uh, we're always here if you have any questions. Have a wonderful rest of your day.